today we're going to have a look at the results I got when I tried my hand at creating anaglyph 3D images using only a normal one lens camera which means later in this video you are going to need your red and cyan anaglyph 3D glasses now how do you create anaglyph stereoscopic images? well I suppose the best way to create any 3D images is with a camera built for it a camera with two lenses apparently they have been on the market so they'll be best for taking your left eye and right eye images at the exact same time which is of course as it should be however you can also just use one camera how would that work well you'll first just take the image for the left eye cheek, and then take the image for the right eye cheek, as quickly as possible one after the other because you don't want things to move if it's people you can ask them to stay still until you've taken the second picture also but uh, other things maybe the wind is blowing and uh, the tree branches are growing like this in the background then you're not gonna get a very successful 3d image because in the time it takes you to move the camera over to the other side and take the picture the branches will have moved already also of course the same applies to animals animals probably won't keep still but did that stop me no it did not as you'll see in my slideshow we'll have a look at in just a moment because I like to sort of experiment see what's possible also another tip I can give you is since you're gonna do the left eye and the right eye look at this distance it's not a really big distance so you don't have to take a picture here and then a picture over there although that might work for objects farther away for closer things the two images are just gonna be two different remember afterwards you want the images from your two eyes to make one image so if it's two completely different images maybe your brain will not recognize it as one image but of course I tried both ways with the two images closer to each other and also farther from each other also another thing which I'm not sure worked quite that well which I did was if for example there's my object that I'm filming. I saw in my mind that I should film it sort of in a half circle around this point. So my first image would be from there and the other image from there. Looking into the main object that I'm photographing. Yeah, no, I don't think that should be the case. I think there should be a straight line and then you should sort of do it on a straight line I think because maybe then the two images differ too much and you need them to be very similar to easily have your brain connect the two images afterwards when you're looking at it so now once you have your two images how do you combine the two images well you know photo editing software what you can do is for the image for the left eye you're gonna use the image that was on the right you have to turn off the blue and green light so that it's only the red channel while on the left eyes image you are going to turn off only the red channel so that it's only the green and blue channel in the left eye do I have it right now yeah I think so and then of course you're gonna bring the red channel of the right eye put it over the green and blue channel yeah now you can experiment a bit move them a little bit farther apart or closer into each other until you get the image you want you'll obviously have to wear your red and cyan glasses while you're doing it so that you can see the effect you'll see that the distance of the overall image is influenced what you're gonna have to decide is if you want your image to start only on the screen and then go in deeper farther away from the viewer if that is the 3d effect you want or do you want the image to already start in front of the screen and then sort of go into the screen some of the images I do have more than one version when I played around with the distances a bit so put on your red and cyan glasses now and let's have a look at the slideshow 